Nonetheless, had always been one of my favorite Neovim plugins. And even though it was archived last year, its legacy lives on in a still maintained community plugin now called Nonetheless. And so today, I wanted to showcase some downright incredible ways to improve your workflow by creating some custom code actions and diagnostics written with simple Lua. And the first step we need to take before we can do it is, of course, installing Nullless with your preferred package manager. After that, open one of your Lua config files and load Nullless into a variable with a require function. Now we can register Nullless sources, which are the basic units for Nullless operations. A simple Lua Nullless source requires a name, which is used to prevent duplicate registration of the source, a generator, which is a function that includes some logic, and a method that subscribes our source to a request, meaning that this example source defines a code action, and code actions update every time we move our cursor or change some text. In its current state, it will just print hello every time we do anything, which is not particularly useful, so let's add some actual code actions here. We can do it by returning a table, consisting of other tables, with each one of them being a separate code action. The code actions themselves consist of a title and a callback function called action that will be executed upon activation. Meaning that this chunk of code defines a single code action called test that prints hello once it is called and is present on every single line because we did not include any conditional logic. If we launch NeoVim, you can see that the test code action is indeed present on every single line even if it is completely empty. The fancy menu on the screen is provided by LSP Saga, however these code actions will be available to you regardless of what you are using. If we execute the code action, it will return the function we gave to it and simply print hello world in this case. Very simple, right? And the obvious benefit of this generator being a function is that we can run conditional logic inside, allowing us to customize code actions on the fly and show them only where they could be useful. Now let's say that we only want to show this code action on the lines that contain the word amazing. We could get current line with vim.fn.getLine function and then check for occurrences with regular expression. That would work, but it would also be a little bit wasteful, because the generator function already provides us with some editor state information like your cursor position, current buffer number, its entire content, and more. Talking about content, it is also the name of the entry that contains our entire buffer text, which means that we can index it with our cursor position, located at entry named row, to access current line. Let's do exactly that, and as you can see, our code action now appears only on the lines that contain word amazing. Pretty cool, right? But what's even cooler is that we can combine this with any other part of NeoVim's ecosystem to come up with some extremely cool use cases, with the most obvious example probably being TreeSitter. With just a simple TreeSitter getNode function, we can already do all kinds of incredible stuff like only placing your custom code action above functions that start with the word get. Said function returns a node located under the cursor, so our next step is to run it through all kinds of conditions. There will be a lot of them, so to avoid excessive nesting, let's define a predicate function above. Here we will make sure that our node exists and is of type identifier, that its parent exists and is of type function definition, and of course, match node's text against a simple starts with get regular expression. If you're wondering where I got the node types from, you can find them in the treesitter node tree accessible with an inspect tree command. This function will return true if every condition is met, so we can now simply pass our node to it in order to check if it is a get function. To spice up our code action, let's call a simple append function inside our action and pass the line above our cursor to it as the first parameter and some text as a second one. Now if we open a python file with two different functions, you will see that only one of them displays our code action on hover and calling it places a comment above it. To make sure that it's working properly, we can even try removing a character from the word get, which no longer satisfies our regular expression, removing code action from this symbol. Code actions are cool, but what's even cooler is custom diagnostics, and defining them with nonetheless is surprisingly simple. All we have to do is replace our method with diagnostics and then return a table containing diagnostics instead of code actions. Each diagnostic item needs to define its position, message and severity. Severity and message are quite self-explanatory and position is defined with a row entry being your line number and optionally end row, column and end column if you want to be more specific. Let's start NeoVim with our current source and see what happens. As you can see, we get an error on line 7 and we cannot fix it because it is hardcoded. Let's come up with something more dynamic and only show warnings on the lines that contain a regular expression. We can do it by simply iterating over every line in our content, matching them with regular expressions, capturing some text we want to isolate with braces, and then adding diagnostics on the line that contain matched text. Let's check it out, and sure enough, we have some new custom warnings. 
Like with anything else in NeoVim's ecosystem, we have only scratched the surface of all the incredible stuff you can come up with, so feel free to share your ideas in the comment section or on the Discord server. And now I would like to thank the sponsors of this video, specifically Hoskins, P Easy, Aiding Bad Ponder, Naughty Nut, Uni, Xavier, Albert C, P3N, Thibault Mole, Shen, Attila, Mattis, Vodros, Bradley Davis, Zeth, Urban Zen, Uncle Simon, Slim5782, Chyborg, Liam Creamers, people who donated anonymously, and of course, those who supported the channel previously. As usual, don't forget to check out our Discord server, leave a like or a comment if you enjoyed this video, or subscribe if you are feeling extra generous. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.